Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to replace a front wheel hub in the 2003 Jeep TJ. The only reason why I'm doing this video is because I have to replace the inner axle seals and this gives me an opportunity to show you how to replace the bearing if you need to. However, I'm not actually replacing the bearing, I'm just gonna go through the sequence to show you guys how. So let's get started. Now the next step to removing the wheel bearing is you gotta remove the caliper for the brakes. So that's as simple as removing that bolt right there. That bolt right there. Pull the caliper off, hang it up somewhere, pull the rotor off, and we'll be in business. What we need to do now is pull the caliper off. So now you're ready to remove the bearing and give it a feel. If your bearing is bad, you're going to feel that it's rough. I'm actually surprised this bearing's still good. Um, when I first installed the bearing, I had no intentions of keeping the Jeep. I was just going to fix it up and flip it, but I ended up keeping it. So this is a set of no-name bearings that has taken me to the Yukon in Alaska, and it's been like four years, and they're still good. Anyways... One of the first things we got to do before we remove the three bolts for the actual bearing itself is remove this cotter pin right here and then remove the axle nut. So as you can see how far the hole is from the nut and the cover's got that special spring washer so you want to make sure you put this somewhere and don't lose it. Now that nut is a 36 mil socket and I'm going to use the Milwaukee fuel to bust this thing free. Well that was no pressure. Let's get that bolt out first. And then there's the other two. In case you're curious, it's a 13 mil, 12 point socket. So now to remove the bearing, what I like to do is I just turn the two bottom ones in, a couple threads, the one on this side, the one on the opposite side, and then we're going to tap it with that rubber mallet, and we're going to pop that bearing right out with the help of that pry bar. Actually, I didn't have to, I gave it a couple taps. This thing, I can move the bolts now and this thing will just pull right out. Ta-da! It's very important you don't forget about this washer. Theoretically now if this was a new bearing, we would go to install it with the dust shield. Dust shield goes away from the brake caliper.
Set the torque wrench up, 75 foot-pounds. Turn that nut we had before and put that on. Gonna use the Milwaukee gun on the lowest setting. And now we're gonna properly torque it up. Our torque spec on the axle nut is 175 foot pounds of torque. So I need to wind this thing up. I stuck a pry bar on there on the threads. That's gonna lock the hub from turning. Now as I put the socket on there, go to 175 foot-pounds. There's the click. So before we finish up with the axle part for the bearing, we need to put these pieces back on. The little washer and the collar and then cotter pin. I always try to go with a new cotter pin every time. So, gonna stick that little spring washer on. And I'm gonna stick this. Lastly, don't forget to torque your tires up. I did the bolts up loose with the Milwaukee. And now I'm torquing them to 100 foot pounds. Well, I'm going to end the video there of doing a bearing hub replacement. Obviously, I didn't replace the bearing hub. I explained that earlier in the video. I had to do the inner differential seal, so it's a perfect opportunity to show you guys how it's done. Pretty easy job doing front bearing hub, give or take, probably about an hour. The only thing, if you have a Jeep TJ, I'm pretty sure most of them are probably the same is that you need a 13 mil 12 point. If you don't have that, you're not gonna have a good day. Anyways, I'm going to get going. That's a pretty quick, dirty, easy job. I'll see you guys in the next video.